I've been extraordinarily fortunate in becoming a sounding board for leaders in all sorts of different kinds of organizations, private sector, public sector, religious organizations, military organizations, um, smaller third sector, um, voluntary organizations. And I've learned a huge amount from the kind of from being with people like who have leadership responsibilities as they think about those responsibilities and as they reflect. And I was asked at one point to go and speak to people uh, in a particular organization in South Africa about what I had learned from working with leaders. And so I spent quite a bit of time trying to distill what I'd learned. And came to the view, and this is now two or three years ago, and I've consistently sort of tested this, um, these ideas since then, and they really do seem to make sense. So it, where I came to was the idea that effective leaders, good leaders, and, and an important point about this is that obviously leaders who seek someone as a sounding board are a particular kind of leader. They're going to be more reflective, they're going to be more willing to, um, to think, to hear alternate views. So my summary of these qualities comes from a particular grouping of leaders um, and uh, not from others. So the first quality that these leaders clearly have is that they always, always treat people as people, never as things even when the temptation to treat an individual or a number of individuals as things or as objects is very considerable, uh, when perhaps the, uh, the leader, him or herself, is, is anxious, is stressed, is tired, is having to make changes and where it would be a lot easier simply to send out notices or have very brief conversations with people, they never ever do that. They always treat people as people. And so they come to learn, and or rather, no, that's not the right way of putting it. When you treat people as people consistently, you learn very quickly about five M's. Um, and the first M is that you learn that people, each person, is a maker of meaning, uh, hence the significance and importance of storytelling and understanding the purpose of the organization uh, and, and finding a way to be committed to that. They are makers of decisions, uh, hence the, the longing everybody has to be able to use their own judgment at work, whatever kind of work they're doing in whichever part of an organization they operate. Uh, and then they are also, so people are makers, that's the first M. The second M is that people are members. They're members perhaps of a professional association, uh, um, a technical association, they're members of um, their community, they're members of families, uh, and those are loyalties that mean a great deal to them. And then you learn that if you consistently treat a person as a person, you very quickly come to realize that they are an irreducible mystery. Uh, and that is the way that you're going to have to, to be with them and um, lead them, work with them. And as someone then put it to me once I've been describing this, if you, treating people as people is messy, but as the man beside him said, ah oh, yes, but it is magic. And those five M's are lived every day by really effective leaders. So that's the first um, the first letter of um, this notion of pact. So that's always, always treating people as people.